Hey guys, it's 9 o'clock, and this is the first clip of the day, yes. Sorry. <laughs> it was my day off, I had my doctor's appointment this morning, and I was just kind of chilling and just having a great day all day, and I was uploading vlogs, four vlogs, one day. Sorry, I got behind, and today was the day that I found to get those all uploaded for you, so sorry about that. Um, so yeah, the, I had to have the camera plugged in all day so that I could be saving these vlogs and editing them and everything, so sorry. Uh, for breakfast this morning, on my way out the door, I had um, my big cup filled with Coke Zero and Diet Decaf Coke. Um, one of these... Nutri-Green uh, Fruit Crunch bars, um, actually two of them, they're granola bars, 180 calories for those, and I chopped up an orange and took it with me. And then for lunch, I went uh, and kind of went a little overboard. I bought some Panera bread uh, broccoli cheese soup the other day at the commissary, and I had that for lunch. That was, I think, 500 some calories, which I knew I was going to be paying for that for the rest of the day. But it was okay because it was like super duper yummy. Um, and then I didn't eat again until almost dinner time. I got very, very hungry. Brian was going to make a strong, um, hamburger stroganoff over rice for dinner. But I had uh, broccoli, carrots, and then I tried to make the... Well, I didn't try. I did make um, How Jen Does It, her um, dry ranch mix. And I made that into some ranch dressing. I don't know if it might taste better, like if it's made and then it sits in like the refrigerator for a little while but when I had it I didn't really care for the taste but now I have to eat all that stuff but whatever um, so I had that with broccoli and carrots and then I ended up having a little bit of dinner I scratched the ice cream cone and that still puts me about 100 calories over tonight but I am going to have some cereal I'm going to have a serving of this cereal with some milk, so that's going to be about 200 calories. And so that's going to be putting me 300 calories over for the day, which is going to be putting... That's going to be putting me at about 1,500 calories, but, you know, I'm not going to boohoo on it. You know what I've actually... I'm not sure about this. I think the conclusion I'm coming to is that... I need to be a little bit more liberal um, with my calories because you guys have talked to me, yes, and also I'm just thinking I should shoot for 1220, but if days like today, if I end up going 100 over, 200 over, 300 over, it's not that big of a deal, and if I do that, then I may not be as likely to just freak out one day and just go totally crazy. So that's why I think what I'm going to do. So I'm going to have my cereal and I'll see you guys in about an hour and a half for reflection and words of wisdom. Okay, so it's another face close up tonight. Wiggly camera because my tripod's in the other room and I'm not going to get it because it's 1131 and I am bad, bad girl because I am still down here at my freaking computer. I get on Pinterest and it's like a black hole at night. I don't know why I like to do it at night. I guess because I get everything else done or enough done and then I feel like, oh, I'll just go on Pinterest for a minute and then I'm like, <sighs> I get sucked in somehow. Anyway, it's a short one. It was a good day. My trend continues. My zen trend. That's what I'm calling it. I have to call everything something, don't I? So silly. So, my baby girl Lexi is sleeping on her tummy now. I can't believe it. it makes me nervous. I don't like it. And the way the camera's positioned, I can't really see her. Can't see her face. Freaking me out. I don't like it. And I wish I could check on her, but if I go in there... She's going to wake up. Anyway, um, still doing a good job. Tomorrow's the real test, though, because tomorrow is my day. 
um, to um, be fully responsible for the children. And so, you know, that causes added stress. <laughs> Not like today, where I had a medical appointment, but pretty much nothing to do all day. And because it's Thinking Thursday, and because we're asking Madison to do uh, reading comprehension every day, we want to get her some library books. And Alana also. So I plan on taking the older girls to the library tomorrow. And um, I guess Lexi's going to stay home uh, with Brian. We'll probably do it during her nap time. But so far so good. Um, I just really wish that I could talk you guys like through this whole thing. Because this is what it's about for me. This vlog series was about the weight loss. But it was about is about, I don't want to say total transformation, total personal transformation, but, you know, I really want to improve myself on the inside and the outside, and so I've made, I think, pretty good steps in that direction, and this is another very crucial step in improving myself, I guess. So I could simply say it, and um, part of me doesn't even want to take credit for it because I feel like it was somehow not me, but I know from reading my book <laughs> that I've been reading that not giving myself credit really causes its own problems. So I don't know that it was all me. All, or it, I keep saying like it was done and like it's over and like oh I'm I'm best now or anything but um, the shift I guess is what I'm referring to I don't know that the shift was entirely my conscious effort or if it's a combination of things possibly hormonal possibly um, divine intervention for all I know um, but I just, if I feel like something is starting to irritate me, I just, I don't know, I'm doing the same things that I feel like I've always done, you know, just try to ignore it, try to move on to something else, uh, talk positively to myself and, and tell myself that it doesn't matter and that I shouldn't let it bother me and, uh, take a deep breath or, I mean, like, I'm not even to the point where I'm even having to take re deep breaths today, um, because I didn't even let myself get that irritated, but like I said, I really wasn't around a lot of things today that would have gotten me irritated, uh, but I don't know, even like if somebody says something not so nice to me, when I would usually be defensive or whatever, like I'm just letting it roll off my back, I guess part of that shift was just like, it's not even worth it, like, whatever, you know, you want to be sassy to me or whatever, fine. It's not like I'm letting you walk all over me, it's like I'm above it, in a way, you know? <sighs> anyway, I'm very happy about that. My eating was a little bit over my calorie goal today, but overall, I didn't make horrible choices or anything, so I'm not going to feel horrible about it. And I drank more water today, I think, than I have been drinking. And, um, so I'm feeling good about that. Um, about the whole fitness thing, I just want to address it real quick. Because Brian's been on leave and we've been having, like, a staycation pretty much off and on for, like, the last month and a half, I guess he had a lot of leave to use, um, things have not been on the normal routine and the normal schedule, um, even for summer, we haven't been able to be on, like, an actual schedule. Once he gets back to work uh, on Monday, then I'm really going to reassess. However I was doing it before, um, a few weeks back, I think it was when he was on swings and he was watching the baby and I was taking the older ones in the morning. I think that's maybe what I'm going to be trying to do. And then when he's on day shift, I'm not exactly sure what my plans are going to be. I might just try to go to the um, the neighborhood gym and do cardio days.
that week or something. I don't know. We'll reassess next week on that. And then as far as words of wisdom, because I gotta go to the little girl's room and I really have to go to bed and I have to read my book page one, one page tonight. I gotta go. Okay. <sighs> Your value doesn't decrease based on someone's inability to see your worth. Just because you think somebody doesn't think that you're worth it, or even if they really don't think that you're worth it, doesn't mean that you're not. I find it very hard to feel like I belong much of anywhere, or even, you know, like I deserve to belong, or whatever, but I have to stop thinking that way. I have a right to occupy space in this world just like everybody else does. And, um, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. You'll see me tomorrow.